<laughs> Yay, Mary Lou. I did it. <laughs> she did it. Uh, hold on. I would like my introduction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Propaganda with your host, Bunny. Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Propaganda, your weekly dose of all things f***ed up in this f***ed up ass world. Bunny Lou. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey. I'm on the other side of the camera today because I don't Why? fucking want to be filmed. <laughs> I don't have my eyelashes on and I'm fucking over it. How was your week? It was long. How was your Valentine's Day? It was good. Oh, good. You know, it was just another day, ready to get it over with. Every day is Valentine's Day in our house, so. Yeah, always be loving. Yeah, always be loving. What'd you do last night? We went to the fights. Saw Kayla Plant whoop some ass. Saw Mm -hmm. um, Austin Dulé whoop some ass. And it was awesome. We were at the Bridgestone Arena. Awesome. I was up until 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm on set this morning, (laughs) tired as hell. That's why you guys don't see me. What you got for me this week? Oh, I got to kick this yeah. motherfucker off. All right. Well, shit bowels. CBS News has claimed that a man is offering $25,000 to anyone who can find him a girlfriend. While many people are scrambling <laughs> to find last minute presents or even a date before Valentine's Day, this Kansas man, good old Kansas people. Oh, Kansas. <laughs> wants a little something more, a girlfriend, and he's offering twenty five k to anyone who will help him find one. Bachelor Jeff Gebhardt told CBS that he's grown sick of dating the traditional way and especially a bores on online dating so he said he decided to think outside the box so this is sort of like a uh, matchmaker like with will smith where he like hooks dudes up with girls that's kind of like don't don't they have matchmaking services i feel like if he goes to vegas any of those bitches will take twenty five thousand. you give 000. them the 25 they'll <laughs> pretend to be his fucking girlfriend for at least a good six months Absolutely. out there all he's got to do is just go to vegas jeff haul at your girl i want to cut 15 percent i'll ha- you'll have a girlfriend in no time buddy no, you go find him a girlfriend he'll give you the full 25 <laughs> shit for sure we need Holy to reach out to Jeff, Jeff, man. Apparently, there's not great women in Kansas or help, something. Help like, me, I'm what? poor, get Jeff. Right, if he's got that Jeff. much money to be spending. Well, he just launched his dating website Sunday night. Jeff looks like an old trout anyways. Find <laughs> me a girlfriend and I'll pay 25K at date Jeff G. Oh, it came up. Oh. DateJeffG.com. What does Jeff look like? Jeff's an old, he's a trout. Oh, look at that. He looks like he's an abusive sugar daddy. Oh, he's an entrepreneur. Fortunate enough to sit still, be passionate about the career path I've chosen. Oh, Oh, God. In other words, (laughs) he fucking probably doesn't even like his own cum touching his stomach. Extremely obese owl is rescued. (laughs) I love a little fluffy owl. She... Uh, was saved oh, by a sanctuary. It's a her. Oh. I feel you, Al. So they were, this Al was saved by a sanctuary. They thought she was too soggy to fly. Come to find <laughs> soggy. out. Soggy. Yeah. <laughs> Come to find out the soggy bird was not as wet. They, she was not injured either. She was just too chunky to be airborne. Oh, poor little owl. That little fluffy muffin. So, yeah. So they have taken her in. What does she look um, like? Look at her. Oh my I don't god, feel like little she looks f- chunky at all. I don't think so at all. I think She's they're sweet. fat shaming her. You're just big boned. Yeah. <laughs> this is <laughs> she ain't fat, bro. She's just a little thick. All right. So upon weighing her, she was rather chunky. She was two hundred and forty five grams, which is roughly a third heavier than the largest healthy female owl. They're fucking fat shaming but, her. Right. I feel like they are. But they've taken her in to help her out. They're going to help her lose a little bit of weight. And then they're going to set her back free. Oh. So yay for the sanctuary for helping her. Or she just wouldn't have been able to fly. Yay for fluffy but owls putting know, smiles hey, on people's faces. She's, she is quite cute. Look at her. She's sort of just roundish. I love her. Amanda Bynes is loved up and engaged to a mystery man she met at her Alcoholics Anonymous class. Mystery man. So she posted a picture of a ring and what's crazy is in the picture she has this ring that she's been wearing for like a couple weeks and yeah. then the man has his hand in it and he already has a wedding ring on too. That's weird. I hate when they're like everyone has to wear rings yeah. like oh my gosh. And then like, she posted a picture of him and he is like really scary looking like not her type but I feel like Amanda Bynes is just off her rocker again dude. dude. Like she was so cute so beautiful little Disney chick and then somebody had to have touched her butt. Absolutely. Something happened Absolutely. and she just fucking flipped a switch and got weird and ever since then she's never really been right you know no. so they met in aa yeah oh well at least she's getting help i mean they're both <laughs> oh, getting he some might type be of her help. sponsor you know yeah. so oh, you never know you yeah. think about that yeah well shit i'm glad she's getting help yeah she's found love I, I guess. um 
So we don't have a picture of him, just hands. No, like we that's, got a picture. Oh, oh um, do we? hold on. Let me let me pull it up. So here's the picture of him. She looks great, by the way. Oh, Lord. Look at them. Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't know she had dark hair now. They look like a match made in heaven. And I don't... They is look... that a face tattoo she has now? Is it? Yeah. She's got a full-on heart tattoo on her face. That's definitely not that Amanda I remember. This poor girl, man. Um, like, what happened to her? Right. Childhood fame happened, I think. Oh. I feel like they all tend to, like, either spiral or become super successful. Oh, man. Poor little poor baby. Poor thing. Amanda, come on the podcast we oh my you. gosh right that would be fantastic a man was arrested for lighting a joint in the courtroom i love that oh in nashville in tennessee <laughs> yeah no that dude's a hero he has a petition going on right now where people are trying to get him set free absolutely i mean we all know at least my stance on legalization yeah and so he approached the bench to discuss his sentence but instead expressed his views on legalization of marijuana before lighting up a cigarette and smoking it in front of the judge i love him i he's my new found he hero he deserves a pat on the back. He was arrested on Monday. He was charged with disorderly conduct. But I give him props because we currently have a bill trying to be passed right now saying that a huge percentage of all legalization will go towards, I think it was schools and what else was it? Teacher schools and like, I think, oh, and I think infrastructure yeah. to really help Tennessee with the growing amount of like people who are coming here all the fucking time. I'm one of those people. I'm not talking shit. Yeah. Um, but no, Jay's the same way. He's yeah. ready for it to be legal it needs to be we have such an opioid crisis here in tennessee and yeah. it's not being talked about and that's just so sad have you seen the viral video that's been going around of the stripper that fell off the pole i did not so this girl literally is up in the air dancing in this fucking packed club and falls and i'm talking like she hits the fucking stage so hard and, gets up oh, baby. and still keeps dancing and twerking that's I was up. like, that's what's up, bitch. Yeah. So I didn't think anything of it, right? Come to find out, this bitch fucked her face up. Her jaw was wired shut. No. Broke her jaw in like two different places. Poor knocked baby. Knocked teeth out of her mouth. Just a whole bunch of shit. But what's really cool is uh, her name is Janae Sky, and she appeared on the w Wendy Williams show on Friday where she recalled, where she talks about the fall and the aftermath from it all. And Wendy actually blessed her with a $10,000 scholarship to get back into school. I have a surprise for you on behalf of me and the show. Mm. We want to give you, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, a $10,000 scholarship to help you finish beauty school and continue on your new life, okay? They talk all about us here at Wendy, but we're some nice people. And apparently so is she. Good luck. That's so sweet. And she cried. Have you ever tried to see a bitch cry with her mouth wired shut? Uh, no. <laughs> It was almost hilarious. Oh, I felt so bad even laughing watch. Yeah, that she would even fucking have to cry like that with her mouth shut. But I thought that was really sweet that, you know, she's 24 years old. This happened and just everybody embraced her, you know, really instead of awesome. looking down on her. So yeah, it just shows exactly. that the world's come a long way. Oh, uh, could you imagine if that would have happened ten, even 10 years oh, ago? Oh, they like, would have fucking shamed her, absolutely. slut shamed her. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, That's insane. Sure. Well, yeah. go Janae Sky. We're proud of you, bitch. Yeah, go back to school. Do all your things. Keep stripping. There's nothing wrong with it. No. Yeah. A Wisconsin cop has pulled over the Wiener Mobile for a traffic infraction. What a dick, dude. Like, he fucking just had to pull over the fucking weenie. What an asshole. You Did he at least get a picture with it? Be, I mean, I think so. He, well, no, he didn't. <laughs> It's someone else taking this picture. Poor Weenie Mobile. So Did he write him a ticket? I'm guessing so. It says that the Oscar Mayer iconic Weiner Mobile got grilling from a Wisconsin sheriff because the driver failed to give enough room to another car. So he was tailgating. It was and he was up got, somebody's <laughs> ass. The wiener, wiener was up somebody, somebody's ass. He had his wiener too close to another car and... They did give him away with a verbal warning. Oh, good. All right. So, so the guy didn't write the weenie the ticket. But damn, here we go. Here's the sheriff pulling over the weenie mobile. What a fucking asshole. In the snow. So maybe he was doing it for safety. I don't know. We got to see the weenie mobile while we were in Kansas. I know. You guys got to live, got to take a picture on Best it. Best right? surprise ever it. is to come out from mm -hmm. the hotel and the weenie mobile be parked yeah. right next to our truck. <laughs> that was really awesome. I love that. All right, Bunny. It's time to talk again. Yeah. Um, 
Yes, serve that face, bitch. I like that. I got a really awesome. When are we gonna tell everybody face. your secret? We're gonna cut that out. You guys are gonna have to tune in next week to find out what Mimi's secret is, because I have been sitting on the secret forever, and I'm gonna <laughs> fucking shit my pants. So this is Mariah Carey's daughter who made this video, and it is going viral all over the place. <laughs> you know what this reminds me of is when Mariah. I'm pretty sure it's Mariah Carey yeah. or Beyonce goes up to that chick in the yeah. in the crowd and like gives them. The oh microphone. yeah, Beyonce, she's clowning them. Yes, yeah, because he like, had a oh, sign. The fuck. guy was holding the sign saying, "Beyonce, you can't sing." So Beyonce went, went over and like started singing. Yes. And said, here you do it. <laughs> that's exactly like what a that passive aggressive me of. Virgo. Yes. It's so funny. Oh, so, that's yeah, hilarious. That's going viral because isn't she precious though? Yeah, Holy she's shit. hilarious. I Between, wonder if her mom put her up for that or she's just really that funny well between her and oh, her mom's a nut already but nick cannon's fucking hilarious even though he's a douchebag <laughs> uh he's funny too so those kids are definitely gonna have really good personalities absolutely yeah oh that she named funny. her her kids uh moroccan and monroe so that for short it's rock and row <gasps> oh that's it's so cute cool. right so she calls them that all the time. <gasps> nathan Oh my god, I love him so much. He was fucking serving. Look at the, the face, look right? at the worker. <laughs> and the worker, the worker looked so concerned. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, that worker's face is absolutely hilarious. All right, we're not making fun of this girl because this girl's blowing up and she's literally going yeah. viral. Let's do and it. You know exactly who I'm talking about. And I think um, she needs recognition because she has such a good attitude. Yeah. And she's just like amazing. So oh, yeah. go, go ahead and click on it. This next sure. TikToker is just has the best spirit considering, you know, the cards that life dealt her. And mm -hmm. I just think that she needs a little bit of recognition. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> and she will fucking get it. Get it. Yes. Oh my God! Hell yeah, dude! So you she your literally, platform. she literally has hundreds of videos. She's sitting at one point six she million has, followers. She has thirty million likes on yeah. her page. That is fucking awesome. No, I love that she's taken yeah. that card mm -hmm. that life has fucking dealt her and made such a platform out of it because yep. i feel like that normalizes it for other people oh no, she's great she'll get that's up in there so on awesome. some booty shorts and fucking are you serious oh, yeah, she don't play get it girl she's with it man she's that's with the shit. awesome i really no, I love her. that she's awesome so we're going to uh tickle the pickle over here <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't know what the bell does but over here and then i think there's another button over here that you should fondle like comment tell us to go fuck ourselves either way we'll be back next week <laughs> <laughs>